Ghost Stories from a Seer, Part 1. Spirit Stories. I was visiting my parents who happened to live in the woods, getting ready to go to bed, and I was turning off all the lights. I looked out the back window and there was a man standing there, and I had never seen him before, and he was pointing. I said, oh, I don't know who you are, and I have never talked to you before, and I've never seen you before, so, nope. <laughs> I walk to the guest room and I turn off the lights and he's standing in front of the window. And still, he's pointing. So I look at what he's pointing towards and he just so happens to be pointing towards my dad's office, which is just outside of the house. I could see that through the window my dad was working and I knew exactly what was going on. The next morning I said, hey dad, last night around 11 o'clock PM, you were doing some genealogy work and you were looking for somebody. My dad says, yeah, I was doing genealogy work last night at that time. How did you know? I said, well, last night there was a man standing outside and he kept on following my vision and he looked to be a little bit weathered. He was a Maori looking man. He kind of had like a darker jacket on and he kept on pointing towards you. And when I looked in, I could see that he was pointing towards you and it looked like he was showing me all these markings and it looked like a genealogy graph. So I said, Dad, why don't you pull up the information that you have on all these different people and let's see if we can find them. So my dad opens up all the information and he's scrolling through all these photos and I stopped him and I said, that person right there, that's the man that's standing outside who's been pointing at you. And my dad says, that is the person that I've been looking for. So I wasn't afraid, I was excited. I don't always choose to sit in mediumship, which is the information between you and spirit energy, but this was one of those times that I was really glad that I stopped to ask a question. Do you want to know more? Stay tuned for part two.